In this class, we'll study about selection modes in Max. This class will facilitate our process of sketching floor plans, as well as correcting plans imported from other softwares. Let's begin the class. These modes are used in Max and are based on parameters applied to construction. It is possible to change diameters, lengths, widths, and other parameters applied to shapes. The Line tool is the only one without parameter settings. See how, in order to change these shapes, we have to convert them to splines. Select the desired shape to do this. Right-click the mouse on the Quad menu. Assess the Convert to Edible Splines option. Then the parameters will be disabled in this shape, and it will become an editable spline. Assess the Modify tab, and there will be many new parameters. We will see there are many types of parameter options. Each of these functions are based on the Enabled Selection mode, as we will see from now on. Assess the Selection group, and there are three selection modes. The selection modes are based on basic principles in 2D design. The vertex can be moved and rotated any way we wish. There is great flexibility in this selection mode. Let's apply this curved line segment as an example to see how the vertex behaves when assigned. Select the vertex option and then click one of the vertexes on the shape. The quad menu provides free editing. We can change the bezier to a corner. We can see the corner shape is now created. As you can see here, the bezier type vertex creates curves with segments, which can be changed symmetrically, and then the step which is changed becomes the mirrored shape that will move and be placed tangent to this vertex. The corner type converts vertexes to corners, and the Bezier corner mode makes it possible to control the segment curves, like this. The segment mode displays the shapes as segments, and then a line between two vertexes. It is viewed between these two vertexes. All the changes to the vertex are displayed on the line segment. Up to now, we have studied vertex and segment, as well as the spline option. The spline option selects the entire shape. We can also select attached shapes separately. We attach a shape to another using the Attach command. We can now see the three shapes are selectable. So in this class we have studied three selection modes that will facilitate editing shapes in 3ds Max quickly and easily.